reduce clicks. This is one of the most important things you will learn as a UX designer. A bad bitch, not committal. Help you with your career. All right, so this is another episode of Bad UX. Bad, bad, bad UX. <laughs> Featuring a do -do 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 -do. Live Nation. Now, I do know that Live Nation is currently improving their UX. I just had a call actually with their lead a few weeks ago, but I still want to showcase their product so that other people can learn from their mistakes. I've done hundreds of product evaluations because it is the first thing that I do for every single client. It really helps me to understand where the product is at and the priority of problems that we're going to have to start to tackle. All right, so I've landed onto LiveNation.com and the first thing I'm seeing is a very large, very red pop-up. And it's asking me to put in some of my information for early access and special offers. I still feel like I don't really quite understand what I'm getting for my information, so I am just going to exit out of that guy. And right away, the first thing I'm noticing is just red, 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 and a lot of things are happening. It's very distracting. Um, where my eyes are first going is this banner over here, the 20 all in tickets. Drop that down and look at this. Oh, what happened there? I want drop this down. The video started. Oh. Okay, I guess it does not want me to open up the video here. So the other thing I'm looking at now is the navigation. Uh, I do not like the red fonts that are used everywhere here. Uh, it's hard to read for me and I can imagine, especially with someone who's colorblind, uh, this would be very, very difficult. There is an email input with zip code. I don't know why I would put my email here. It says join, but join what? For what reason? And now on the left hand side, I'm looking and there's a top tours. I feel like the images are very small. I can't even see what's happening in some of these or who's in them. So I'm clicking into this uh, concert here and I'm su surprised that there is a pop-up that says find tickets or more details. So I'm gonna click onto both and let's look at the other one here. It takes me to the product page as well. I don't know why there's that pop-up. It makes no sense. It's really adding just another click in my experience. The other thing I'm looking at when I'm on here is this navigation bar. It looks like it's changed. It's no longer this white navigation bar with the ability to search. And then there's a hamburger menu. So that's now a completely different experience. Uh, all I'm seeing are the footer options and who they're sponsored by. Oh. So now here are my five solutions on how to improve those UX problems that we had discovered. Number one, have a clear call to action. So the page that we saw, the their Live Nation homepage was filled with red, their pop-ups, the advertising, the fonts, and pretty much we couldn't really tell what their call to action color was, which was black. So this is an example of PayPal. And their call to action is blue. It's very obvious. There's the blue on um, that sticky on the, the navigation there. Um, there's blue in the links. Number two, give value before asking for personal information. Now this is a really great example from Spotify. Why it's great is one, the title is very clear on what you're getting with the Spotify premium. And two, it's letting you know secondary information that's really helpful and that adds even more value. And third, the call to action is really clear. The text get 30 days free. I understand exactly what's going to happen when I click that. I'm gonna give my information and I'm gonna get 30 days free. Number three, make sure to have consistent navigation. This is very important so that your users know where to, how to get to any place within the site, no matter where they're at. They're never lost or, or trapped. Number four, have clear hierarchy of information. So Airbnb has this great example of a very nice, large photo 
with their title in a bolder, larger font, and secondary information is in a smaller font or different font style. So I'm really getting to understand what information you want me to see and what is really important here. Number five, reduce clicks. This is one of the most important things you will learn as a UX designer because you want to make sure that the user can get from A to Z in the fastest way possible. So please subscribe to my channel. I'll be creating new UX evaluation slash bad UX videos every week for you. And please share with your friends, other people that you think would benefit from this type of video and this type of information. So I hope that this video helps you to improve your product evaluation skills. Please let me know if there's anything that you want me to also evaluate any sort of products, any bad experiences, and I'd be happy to do so. Yay!